Hey, what's going on guys? It is B. Avery here again for another trailer reaction. Seems like it's been a while since I did a trailer reaction, but I'm doing another one now. This one is for 20th Century Fox uh, Deadpool 2. It comes out, I believe, June 1st of next year, 2018. Um, I did love the first Deadpool movie. Uh, I went in with high expectations. I have it here on Blu-ray. Get your copy as well. I went in with high expectations and those expectations were met. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is great as the role he was born to play this role of course he's coming back to fill in the shoes again uh something that does concern me about deadpool 2 is that the same director is not coming back um tim miller um you know directed the first movie here and before that he didn't really direct anything i think he did like two short films but uh unfortunately it was reported that him uh, tim miller the director of the first one and ryan reynolds deadpool wasn't really seeing eye to eye on the direction they wanted the first one to go uh, I believe Tim Miller wanted it to be kind of more serious with more action and still have the jokes. But Ryan Reynolds wanted, you know, more jokes and, you know, to kind of keep the consistency of the first one. I believe if I am wrong, please let me know down in the um, in the comment section below. And to be honest with you, I, I think I agree with uh, Tim Miller's approach on this. It's unfortunately he, it's unfortunate he's not coming back. But at the same time, while I did love Deadpool, um, you know, I do want the sequel to be a little more serious I, I mean i still wanted to have all the jokes and i still want them to adapt the deadpool character from you know the comics and to be honest with you the deadpool in the comics and all that is even raunchier much more raunchier than he was in this movie or whatever but you know i, I would appreciate you know just more serious story action and all that good stuff but still have the same amount of jokes but now um, instead of Tim Miller coming back, we're going to have uh, director David Leach uh, come in to uh, helm the role of the man behind the camera. And that concerns me as well, because David Leach was responsible for John Wick, which came out a few years ago. And I love that. But he was also responsible for Atomic Blonde, which came out earlier this year. And that movie wasn't good at all. I really didn't enjoy it. Um, so um, we have this teaser trailer here. It's called Deadpool's Wet on Wet Teaser. We're about to check it out. But before I um, before I uh, put on these headphones and click play and react to it and review it afterwards, I want to let you know. So if you do want to check out any of my movie reviews, you can down in the description box below. I have a review up on my channel for Justice League, uh, Last Flag Flying, uh, a Message from a King starring Chadwick Boseman, which is a Netflix original, uh, Murder on the Orient Express, and also Daddy's Homes 2. So all that, all five of those movies are, um, there's a link to it down in the description box below. If you are into movie reviews and movies and things and want to get my opinion slash review slash take on it or whatever, that is there for you. But uh, without any further ado, let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk, but watch me. Watch this trailer. Here we go. <laughs> it's like Bob Ross. Hello there. Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Let's just dive right in and run all the colors across the screen that you'll need to Sounds like them too. I have my regular old canvas here. Wet and ready to go. Now, let's grab our trusty two-inch brush here. Whack that off real good. Just beat it like it owes you money. <laughs> We're gonna get a little dab of like like yellow money. snow here. We're gonna mix that with just another little dab of our Betty White. Now, <laughs> let's just dance in a happy little sky. Now remember, <laughs> this is your world. You get to make and break the rules here. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. Wish I could jump yeah. in there and roll around in all that cascading white powder. Yeah, just get high in all of life's splendor. God, I love cocaine crazy so much holy fuck knuckles i am oh, high as a kite right now change the game. <laughs> okay let's paint in a few little happy trees there nothing yeah. wrong with happy making trees. friends with trees now what you don't want to do is eat these paints no trust me on this one don't want to eat all the right paints. i'm gonna whack off again that's right oh that's what he meant feels good. <laughs> i thought he meant I... <laughs> you messed up the picture Would you look at that? It seems like we have ourselves a finished painting. 
So from our family to yours, keep your Cable. pants dry, your dreams wet, and remember, hugs, not drugs. Is that it? I guess that is it. That was funny. I like that a lot. Um, if you're, I don't know, under 25 years old, you probably don't know who he was imitating. Um, I'm in my lower 30s that he was imitating Bob Ross. Bob Ross is somebody that I grew up with. I think he came on. Was it Channel 2 or Channel 13 or was it PBS or whatever? But Bob Ross, uh, he, he's not here with us anymore. Uh, you know, rest his soul, rest in peace, Bob Ross. I think he died in like mid 90s or something like that. But I grew up with him. He was like the friendliest guy in the world, would paint the hell out of paintings, would just have a white canvas or whatever. And he and, you know, Ryan Reynolds did a great job of imitating his voice because that's how he sounded. He would just such had like a such a nice, pleasant sort of voice. And, you know, he would just, you know, paint, paint, paint. And like it, it just turned nothing into like a freaking masterpiece or whatever. And like he was always like, oh, you know, happy little trees. And, you know, like he, he just, you know, was just a nice guy or whatever. Um, and so that's who um ryan reynolds was imitating right there i love that it was funny you know um i think he was like betty white is the paint and yellowstone and i, I forgot all the colors that, that was funny too it was cute i liked it. it it was funny um i am glad that we did actually get to see glimpses of the movie um uh, you know with shots going here and there i forgot the the um what is the name sal or old Sal or something like that, the older black lady that was in the first movie to where she's blind or whatever. And they was kind of scoring and ripping each other up in the first one. Like they kind of pull their guns out and point it at the screen, you know, in this trailer right here. That, that was nice. I, I like that. I'm going to have to watch it a few more times because, um, you know, it was going fast or whatever. But, you know, for a first teaser trailer, um, I think 20th Century Fox did a great job. I like this. Uh, before I press play, I told you I was concerned about the movie and not necessarily as excited as I was when I was about to see this one right here. But after this teaser trailer, you know, that does pique my interest. And uh, before you know it, June is uh, first is going to be out here before you know it. And I also, t you know, talk about the time that this uh, teaser is being released. Of course, right now is Wednesday morning and uh, Justice League comes out on Friday. I really don't like that these studios are right, com competing with each other. You know, like you're taking this, you're taking the steam away from Justice League. I mean, stop that. I, I, I'm fine with, you know, uh, capitalism and, you know, a competition with between businesses and stuff like that. But at the same time, I don't think we're headed there, but we do not want any comic book fatigue from not from comic books from but from general audience and so all these studios whether it's 20th century fox marvel or warner brothers you guys need to be working together and you haven't because well it's not it's not marvel's fault because you know marvel had thor come out on november 3rd and then for some reason they uh, warner brothers wanted to release justice league two weeks later i don't think that's cool um and then you know like this teaser right here could have waited so maybe next monday or something like that you know after justice league you know was released you know just so things are like spread out a little bit and the market is not saturated or whatever you know because it, like marvel is winning right now marvel studios Disney is winning right now as far as comic books are concerned but at the same time disney needs other studios to be successful as well because the, you know not people like me the general audience they don't care about all these studios and directors they they just see a comic book movie and you know if if warner brothers and uh say for instance fox or whatever i'm just using them as an example if they put out something that's crap that can potentially hurt Mar marvel disney's chances too and making more of the box office you know what i'm saying just like if, if warner brothers and 20th century fox put out something bad and like the, a general movie going audience member would just be like man I, I the last two comic book movies i saw now this next one's coming out that will happen to be marvel that they wouldn't know they wouldn't go see that so uh you know it kind of worked together this trailer could have come out next week after the release but you know i'm not gonna make a big deal about it 
Um, well, I guess I just did, but I really did like the trailer. Um, so guys, um, that is just my opinion. What did you think about the Deadpool 2 teaser trailer? Um, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can also click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. I would appreciate that. Also, guys, check me out on my website, justmyopinion.net. Um, you can bookmark it. I do have written reviews there. Um, there also is a re written review uh, for Daddy's Homes 2 and all those other movies I listed before, especially Justice League and also guys look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash reaction for um 20th century fox deadpool 2 teaser trailer wet on wet and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace